It's a nightmare, something you would think would never happen in our small community. Those were the words of one resident of Uvalde, Texas this morning, a day after a teenager killed 19 children and two teachers at an elementary school. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill. Similar small communities across the country and here in Maine are now wondering just how safe are our schools. The Bangor School Department says it is upping police presence on campuses, possibly through the end of the school year, not only due to the shooting in Texas, but also because Maine schools have dealt with a number of threats recently, including four in the last seven days. New Center Maine's Jack Molma joins us from the newsroom now to tell us more. Jack. Pat, uh, there were 10 incidents in the last 30 days in which schools were either closed for the day, shifted online, or had class disrupted, all because of threats. I spoke with a gun law advocate who says a threat is one of the final signs before somebody decides to act. Both the advocate and the State Department of Education tell me that there are ways to prepare your children and classroom to report and handle these threats. Last week, a Greeley High School student was arrested after threatening to shoot three classmates. Then, on Monday in South Portland, students were all sent home over a threat. We will go ahead and get you home as well. Something the district superintendent says is always taken seriously. When a student threatens violence against the school, even in a non-credible situation, expulsion is an appropriate response. That same day in Poland, police say a Whittier Middle School student made a kill list targeting 11 students and staff. RSU 16 superintendent of schools says the student was suspended, putting the district on high alert. It can happen in Maine and ultimately will at some point. And now Wednesday at King Middle School in Portland, two threats were written in the bathroom. As a precaution, students shifted to online learning for the rest of the day. And we just have these images burned into our minds from the unending slaughter in this country. Maine Gun Safety Coalition Director Jeff Bickford says threats are some of the last warnings before a student will take action. You know, we are very lucky that we have not had a school shooting here. There have been threats. Any one of those threats could become actionable. We may not be that lucky next time. But do these threats spell a grave sign? So Maine schools are uh, in a good position uh, to deal with uh, threats. The Maine Department of Education says threats are increasing nationally, and it normally happens this time of year. Uh, I think it's in accordance uh, with uh, what's happening uh, uh, you know, across, across the country. Bickford adds, though, that even one threat is one too many. And I don't think it's doing anybody any benefit to give the false appearance that the schools in Maine are safer than they are, that they're immune from threats, and that they're immune from school shootings. Yet the news out of Uvalde has effects here in Maine, where Bangor Schools is upping police presence for at least this week. To hear about that, especially in elementary school, it just, it worries me for how that affects their little minds growing into and going into high school because that's just such a hard thing to process at such a young age, any age really. Now the State Department of Education School Safety Center leads trainings for schools and community members. If you want to take action and prepare your classroom for your family, you can go online and click on this story for a link to free safety trainings. Their next training is June 21st through the 23rd. Pat? Jack Molman, thanks.